Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go over the AM Silver Bullet for Tuesday, November 28th. So let's turn on the Kraken Silver Bullet Pro Indicator and let's see where all our session liquidity are at. Okay, so turn those on. Obviously we took out the London Low. So actually we took out the London High and the London Low. So that can be gone. We've taken out the Asia low, so that can be taken out. Asia high has not been taken. And then obviously the kill zone just started. So, all right, so we come over here. Asia low has been taken out. And actually London has all been taken out. And the kill zone's good. So that's what we have left. Let's turn on previous day high and low and see where they're at. Previous day low is down here. Previous day high is way up there. Okay. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. Yep, okay. Just just checking. Alright, so obviously we just took out liquidity here, right? We have these three things. We just took out some liquidity. So let's mark this here. Sell side liquidity taken, just so we have an idea what's been going on here. This bothers me, that needs to be perfect. Okay, so let's go candle by candle and see if we're going to take out the top or the bottom. Okay, well, for me, that's a market structure shift. Okay, so. Okay, so now we got this fair value gap right here. Am I taking a trade into that? No. I'm going to pull the fib and see where our. That's so far in premium. I'd like to come down here for a trade. So that's, I don't really want to take it that high. So I want to see if that's going to, I mean, I mean, look at that. Now if it takes it out, hindsight, be like, oh, I would have taken that. But, you know, I really don't like taking them in premium. I will sometimes, this is a breaker right here. So you can technically, technically take that right there. But when I was trading this live, this is not how I traded it. So this is a bus breaker right there. So you could take a trade right there. Where would your stop go? It'd have to go right below here. And the reason I didn't take that is because I didn't like it being in a, so far in a premium. And I don't know if it's going to take this and come down or take this. This isn't strong liquidity to be taken. This is internal liquidity. I would have been happier if it would have taken like a session liquidity, a major liquidity, and then had our market structure shift. So I'm just kind of leery at this type of stuff. You'll see me take breakers in a premium usually if I take uh, major liquidity. And a market structure shift and we're in a premium i'll take it but this is internal liquidity right it's still liquidity it's just not as many orders pile up as as on the session liquidity you know like these these lows aren't really that strong this is a stronger low because it took took out this swing low this is a strong low because it took out this swing low this is a strong low has been taken right but this is a major swing low i mean look at all of it that it took Right, so that's you know I'd, I'd feel better if this market structure shift was after it took out a major low and it was in premium. I'd take this trade, but right now I'm not taking this trade. I want to come down more. And when I was trading this live, that's what I was doing. I didn't. I wanted to see if it was gonna do this, and it did. Projection from optimal trade entry. I thought about taking a trade right here, um, and I didn't. Hindsight, I wish I would have, but I didn't because uh, there was a fair value gap here. And so now I was like, okay, that's 
I like to use that as an inversion because it's a bearish fair value gap. So this, just showing you my thought process here, whether it be right or wrong, that was my thought process. All right, so now I could go down further. You know, don't know what's going to happen here. Okay, now it's an inversion fair value gap. So let's remove that fair value gap part. It's an inversion fair value gap. So now it comes back into that. I'll take a trade. What is price doing? Holding at this fair value gap and breaker block right here. Now it's like an inversion, you know? Uh, so it's, it's holding price at the moment. We're kind of just locked. Now we've crossed it. Oh, I needed it to close in there. As soon as it closes in that in that inversion, we're taking it because it's in the 50%, like that close. All right, perfect. So we're going to buy one right there. Okay. What am I targeting? Targeting the Asia high. Because that'll go through two kill zones right there. Now, um, all right, hold on. I can do this too. Stop loss here. Okay, whatever. Let's go right here. Age I. Oh, pretty fast. Go right through it. Dang. Okay. Now, if it's going to go higher, where could it go? Well, let's just, let's just, if it broke these highs right here, which it did, if it's going to continue on, the next high is this one right here. So let's just mark that here and let's just see how it, if it gets there or not. Sure enough, just did. Look at that. Hit that and then made, and then dropped. Took out this 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 here right here. Look at that. I mean look at that. It did just take it by one tick. And then it dropped. So from there to here is a fifty, you know, fifty five handle move almost. From taking that major liquidity target and down. Look at that. All right, so let's turn off the the long position. Let's go through this. Okay, we started the 10 o'clock hour, and we turned on the session liquidity using the Kraken Silver Bullet Pro indicator. And we had Asia high and the New York kill zone high left and the New York kill zone low left, right? We kind of had a market structure shift here, but we know that these are internal swing lows internal liquidity and so we're kind of leery on sometimes when we're in the middle here of a breaker block and a fair value gap right especially when it's in premium and a premium uh, not in discount and we're going long so what i want to do is i want to kind of come down a little bit lower say optimal trade entry I missed it optimal trade entry missed it but there's no reason to really get in you could use this as, as a order block here if you wanted to but it left behind a fair value gap. So that again, gave us pause because that's a bearish fair value gap. Once we traded through it though, that became an inversion and it was in a discount. So that was, that gave us our clear signal of this is what we're waiting for to, to enter. Price came up and struggled to get past this breaker block fair value gap combination because now they're both inversions at this point. So finally broke through, came back down, tapped us in at the inversion fair value gap. And then as soon as it hit, took us in, it skyrocketed to our entry like three candles later we were we were hit right now what we should have done is look for any higher highs above the Asia high and what we did is we 
shrunk this in after these highs it was pretty much a clear drop down so that's that means the next high is here there's no there's nothing stopping it giving it any kind of resistance to to go to this high once it cleared this it was going to continue going higher it was going to clearly hit that and what it do it hit that by one tick it's all it needs to do according to ICT one tick is plenty and then it just spiked down for almost 55 handles immediately just took it and immediately dropped okay so that is your AM Silver Bullet setup for Tuesday, November 28th using the Kraken Silver Bullet Pro Indicator.